Hey everyone, welcome to How Chic. So today I have an unboxing for you and this is with Glam Touch. I'm going to be sharing with you my skin story. Thank you Glam Touch for sending me this parcel. It came in a box like this. So if you open it up, you get this beautiful pink wrapping paper on top and it says Glam Touch on there. And then open it up and you have a beautiful baggie with Glam Touch on there. So inside we have the beautiful ribbon and then it comes in a nice baggie like this and I think this is actually called the Vero Amour collection so they came out with this love collection to really think about taking care of your skin or possibly give this as a gift for your loved ones to really pamper and make sure that everybody takes care of their skins and give themselves some self-love. So inside they have some really amazing products that I'm going to try and showcase to you today and I will do a full skincare routine of this. The first thing that I'm going to show you is this one. This one is the Rice Salon and this is from Black Rouge and it is a makeup remover and I usually like cleansing balms because they're really fuss free to use and I think the last cleansing balm I used was the Vanilla and Co version but first of all before I start with any makeup removal I'm going to use a bifacil cleanser just to remove my eye makeup because it's all very waterproof. Usually with any oil cleansers or balm cleansers they tend to leave an oily film over your eyes and it just tends to just not be very comfortable when you're washing it off because it kind of makes my eyesight a little bit blurry so I'm not too keen on that idea. I'm just going to shake this up and I just gently apply this all over my eyes. So starting off with my skin story. I think around this time last year I did struggle with a lot of acne and it actually started off quite mild. Originally I had pretty clear skin and it was all okay but nothing too severe, just one pimple every now and then when it came to my period. But then I think over time I don't know what it was, whether it was just hormonal changes. I started to get a lot more acne and then it just gradually got worse and worse. And I don't know what happened, but I do think it is to do with hormonal changes. It lasted around half a year and then it just started to get really aggressive. And then I think around that time, I did start to relax again. And I think maybe also to do with stress, so maybe you need to take some time to really relax yourself and not worry too much. So now that all of my eye makeup is removed, I'm going to go in with the Black Rouge cleansing balm and inside it's just this nice balm texture and if you've used the Vanilla & Co formulation then you'll be familiar with this because it's the same kind of balmy texture. It just easily scoops out of the top. So I'm just gonna go in and massage this all over my face. One thing that usually happens when you have acne prone skin is that your moisture barrier could be disrupted. And once that happens, then you can get a whole range of skin problems such as acne or sometimes skin redness. And I believe to have had both. And it wasn't very comfortable. To be really honest, I think I didn't really get too bothered about how I looked. It was more about how painful it was on the skin because it was literally covering the whole of my cheek area, also my forehead. But then I think the forehead cleared quite quickly around the middle between my brows. And then I had loads around my jawline. So the jawline and the cheeks really gave away that it was to do with the hormonal changes and that was what really set it off for me. So now I'm going to wash this off and then it should emulsify and then all the makeup will come off my skin. So then next in this bag I have the Bano Bargi Calming Care Cleansing Gel to Foam. I already own this but this is a miniature version 
and this is the 30ml version and it's really cute it comes in this nice pink tube here and I just love how tiny this looks I do already have the bigger version because I do really like this I think this is my second big bottle and I already had one of the mini bottles from my previous Glam Touch haul and it's just really cute so I just washed my face with it it's such a beautiful cleanser it comes out as a gel foam first and then when you lather it up it comes into this really fine silky foam and I love it it's super gentle so calming for the skin and I just feel like my skin is nice and clean but at the same time it still feels really hydrated and all of the redness that usually happens after a lot of cleansing products it's really really calming for the skin so this one is a really really good one I'm so happy to have an extra one given to me so next we have this one is the Beauty of Chosen Ginseng Essence Water and this is a step that's usually kind of like a toner but kind of like a serum so it's an in-between and usually I use toner and then afterwards I use the essence so this one is in 40 millilitres and it has this really nice golden colour to it and it's just really nice so I'm just going to try this out and it's quite watery it doesn't have too much of a smell to it so I usually have about three drops onto the palm of my hand and then I rub it together and then I gently pat onto my skin this just really soothes the skin and it adds extra hydration in the set which is the main thing to build a strong skin barrier so usually with this step i like to add a few layers because my skin is actually very dehydrated so with essences you can build up as many layers as you want depending on how dry your skin is so for me today i think two layers is enough and my skin feels really hydrated so i do have a little bit of acne scarring just from last year and it was really severe back then and I'm so glad that right now it's all calmed down but I am left with a lot of remnants my skin is more on the dry side because I am using retinol as one of my actives to get rid of the acne scarring and you can see here that compared to before it's a lot less severe and over time it does heal so you do need to build a tolerance to retinol because if you use it too much too quickly then it can burn the skin but right now it seems to be fine and I'm good so the next thing I have in here is Dalba Piedmont White Truffle Nourishing Treatment Mask and it just comes like this and it's a sheet mask and it has white truffle extract and centella asiatica extract and what it does is that it's got lots of hydration and extra energy and it gives plump smooth and glowing looks in minutes so this one i'm going to use right now and put it on for 10 to 20 minutes and i'm going to be watching some netflix whilst doing this face mask so it just comes in a nice sheet mask like that so I really like sheet masks because sometimes when your skin barrier is very compromised it does go a long way in terms of hydrating the skin so I do try to minimize the amount of times I use sheet masks but if my skin does really need saving then this does come in handy but most of the time I do try to keep my skincare routine as hydrating as possible so it just easily fits on and then I use the excess serum onto my arms so it fits on quite nicely and then I'm just going to watch some Netflix whilst I do this so I'm going to remove this mask and then just massage the rest into my skin so I like this step because it feels really soothing and to me with sheet mask it's quite similar to a serum step so that's where you should apply it so after your toner and essence and then before your moisturizer so this one i feel like it's very nourishing for the skin i do find that it's more on the moisture side a little bit on the hydrating but not so much but really has that slight creaminess to it so that's all fully absorbed so 
it's very dewy and glowy. I like the finish of it. And the next thing I have in here is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Ampoule. And this is a small version. This is in the 30 milliliters. And I really like how cute this looks. So this is the tiny bottle and it's just really cute. Centella is a really good ingredient for those if you have redness on the skin or if you do have acne and you do want to calm that down, this is the perfect ingredient. I'm just going to take a few drops of this and then rub it between my hands and then apply it all over my face. So I have used different Centella products before but I find that this one is more on the moisturising side and also I do find that this one is very potent and I believe that this is 100% Centella Asiatica extract so maybe that's why it's really potent. So the next product I have in here is this one and this one is also from Banu Bagi and it's their Calming Care Moisturising Cream really nice cute box like this. It's the same line as the cleanser that I just used earlier and at the top it comes with this nicely packaged front leaflet and it's where it has the spatula in there so that it's more hygienic when you take out the cream and then the cream in itself is such a cute packaging comes in this 50ml tub so let's open it up and then it's just this nice jelly texture. I do believe that it will be very soothing for the skin because I did find that the cleanser was very very soothing. So I am going to take a little bit from the top just like that and then apply this all over my skin. So again I just rub it between my hands and then I just melt it into my skin. It's just really soothing. It does have this nice gel like texture so it's not completely absorbing into my skin, but it is forming a nice barrier to prevent transepidermal water loss. And the main thing is that you want to strengthen your skin barrier to prevent any acne or redness or any type of broken skin, because otherwise that would have triggered the acne that I had last year. And so over the time, did have the acne but then during that whole course of acne I tried to keep my skincare quite gentle and minimal and my main aim was to build up my skin barrier and then it gave my skin time to heal and after that my skin cleared up pretty quickly straight afterwards it was quite all of a sudden it was very severe but then after that it just all disappeared and it all just calmed down. All I'm left with now is just a little bit of scarring and that's about it. And retinol is treating it really well so it is a lot less severe compared to before. So my main aim is just to use retinol to lighten up my scarring but also it's really good to turn over your skin cells but at the same time I'm using a lot of ingredients to soothe the skin and especially pack in the hydration because retinol can really dry out the skin and that is my main skincare routine. I'm really glad that this package all comes with really soothing ingredients, they're all very gentle and it's just a little reminder to give yourself some self-love. So the last few items here are just some samples. I have a range of them here. So this one is a made Sarah cream and I think this is a face cream but since I already applied my face cream I'm just going to show you the texture here. So this is quite a creamy one and it looks like it will be something really soothing so that's really exciting to try. And then I have the Bano Bagi Calming Care so it's the same range as the cleanser and the cream and this is the moisture pad. This one is a rose hydrogel lip patch so if you have dry chapped lips this one looks like a really good one. And then the last samples I have is the Dalva UV Essence. And then this one is something new to me. This one is a Black Rouge Rice Skin Wear Foundation. And I got two shades here, one in Fair Ivory and one in Nude Ivory. 
So that was everything that was in the Vero Amour box and I am thankful for Glam Touch for sending me this and especially it's a very good reminder to take care of your skin but also take care of your own self. Thank you so much Glam Touch for sponsoring this video and sending me these products to try and always being such a huge support and if you like these type of videos then please do like and subscribe and finally I give you all of my hugs and my love. Bye!